Welcome back to the 13th Destiny Podcast with Magnum. Yes, I am your host, James Magnum Cook, and I have returned from a long void. I am very sorry that I have been gone. Um, had a lot of stuff going on. However, we've got a new producer, uh, which I will also mention at the end of the show. Uh, an associate producer came on for um, this episode and the remaining episodes that we will do for the rest of the year. And uh, that's John Karras, uh, better known as Crazy John. Uh, and uh, he's certainly been a supporter and also uh, is uh, has appeared uh, in, in hopefully a film that we will eventually film on the Mar the Vampire Princess. But uh, trying to stay anti-political, and that's going to be almost difficult with this craziness going on out there uh, with the gas and everything else. Uh, this is an absolute mess. So anyway, that's part of the reason I've been gone, dealing with other stuff and working um, as the main job. But I did manage to get down to uh, Decatur, Texas, Bridgeport, Texas, and Weatherford, Texas over the weekend. The wedding of uh, Bug and um, uh, Jeremy down there. So I uh, had returned down there as promised and, of course, working with Jay Farrell out in Nashville, Tennessee to shoot that wedding. And boy, was it a roller coaster of an adventure on this one. You cannot make up everything that happens. So as we go along on our trip, Everything's going pretty good, and uh, wham, we got hit with uh, pay not going into me on one time, uh, hackers hitting him through Facebook. Uh, it just was a roller coaster. Then you add in the fact that we run into uh, the first night there, uh, everything went good between Bug and Jeremy and everything, and the kids and I hanging out with all of them for a little while, uh, getting something to eat over in Bridgeport at Yesterday's, which is a very famous place out there in Bridgeport, Texas. And a lot of people go there, and uh, we enjoy going there as well. Um, absolutely wonderful place, uh, so I'll mention that as well to put that in there. So anyway, so this was a Pope uh, business and personal trip, but it was just uh, it was just a wild ride. And uh, so, <laughs> lo and behold, first night we get back to the hotel in Decatur, which I've stayed there uh, a few times, and there was a time back uh, when I met Elizabeth uh, Wright, Several months ago, um, I want to sign books to her and everything. Uh, there was an incident with the elevator there then. Uh, so the first night, we get back over there, and here we go. We have the elevator not working properly uh, after we got everything up into the room the first time, our equipment and all that, uh, for the uh, wedding on Saturday. And lo, here we go. First thing on that one to go wrong is we run into the elevator working, but all the lights going out in it, and we're like, okay, well, that's probably not a good thing, so we're just going to avoid the elevator because I remember the previous. And by the way, I love this hotel. I love the people there. They're they're awesome. They're very very professional. Very 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 nice. I've written uh, some nice stuff about them up on TripAdvisor, on my Magnum 1968 TripAdvisor. So. Um, so all that was going, but this is just, so it was just one ride after another. Thank God uh, Jay was taking care of a lot of this because this was uh, mainly me assisting him. And, uh, but just, just one thing after another. And then we got hit with, um, uh, so we decided not to use the elevator. And uh, I can't remember the exact time. It was after, I think it was after midnight. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, the air goes out, everything. And of course, we already got the lights out in the room, so we're just, we're just chilling and uh, getting ready for, you know, try to sleep for the next morning because we've got to get up and do all this stuff and prepare to, uh, you know, photograph and the wedding for him and lightning for me. And the air goes out, man. It's like, but then it's just like this really creepy stuff. And then I hear all these people complaining in the hallway. I was like, uh oh. So I get up and check it out. I was like, yep, sure enough, the entire power is out in the hotel oh this is going to be fun uh apparently we find out the next day or at least i did anyway uh, talking to one of the desk clerks that i had met previously um and uh she indicated that uh, apparently over half of uh, decatur texas was out that morning uh when their power went out so that was interesting so we got that out of the way and um so um, finally got all the equipment charged up everything ready to go uh, you know, when it was supposed to be a little cooler than it was in Texas that day uh, because it had been really nice in uh, the Bridgeport area or the Bridgeport Decatur area uh, the week before, but uh, we were looking at the mid 90s uh, with a possible 100 degree, uh, you know, Fahrenheit in the uh, other stuff as far as how it would feel. 
<laughs> and we're like, wow, this is gonna be interesting. And uh, so the wedding was going to was taking place over at the Clark Botanical Gardens, and I'll talk about that a little bit in a minute because I've also written up some stuff on TripAdvisor for that as well. Uh, very, very, very nice place. So this is kind of a this is kind of an update of uh, where I've been, what's going been going on, and that I am back, uh, and I will try to get these episodes closer together uh, based on my work and everything else. So anyway, we went over to the, uh, the Clark Botanical Gardens over in Weatherford, Texas. And uh, it wasn't too bad to start with nice breathing, but then by the afternoon rolls in, by the time of the wedding, and uh, uh, the minister, oh, I will tell you some interesting stuff about the uh, the minister, my self-adopted daughter kind of thing, is uh, all these people in Vogue, and all these people are associated with Magnus Models and Magnus Caliber Films, and it was ironic the minister was even talking about, she was even talking about uh, being on the set of Bloody Sister of Love several years ago and working with me. And then uh, the other Melissa, who is kind of like a, uh, she's kind of like a self-adopted daughter. Uh, it, you know, it's a long story on that one. We won't go into all that. It's a long, it's a long story why that is. But anyway, the interesting thing about all this, all these people are associated with Magnus Models and Magnum Caliber Films, and it's like he's bringing up this movie from years ago, which I try to. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not completely ashamed of it or whatever. I just don't talk about it. I just, it's just I moved on from that movie and tried to make better movies and stuff like that. It was kind of a, a big mess a lot of cut problems a lot of uh actor problems uh, a lot of uh you know i like, remember the first day that bug came from texas to, to film we went four days four days of her in a hotel with it pouring down rain because we couldn't film because the outside scenes were outside and finally eventually we kind of figured a way around that and uh shot from inside of a car for the scene with her and uh, the other person in the rain pouring rain pouring rain out here near my ranch and stuff uh, and we had to coordinate that quite well because we'd been given uh, some blue and red lights, uh, you know, from law enforcement to use on one of the vehicles for that film uh, from a uh, from a, another sheriff's department in another county. Uh, but we had to coordinate all that, you know, so we didn't interfere with anything or make anyone think that we were actual uh, members of law enforcement uh, and make sure that that was all uh, squared away before we started filming. So we ran into a few problems on that, but it was just ironic. That it's like, so all this comes up at this wedding back from years ago. So it's extreme. It's gotten extremely hot. Guests are a little. So uh, I thought it was funny. The minister said, "Well, I just I go to get this secondary battery for Jay and uh, ends up getting back." Up. And I'm like, "What happened here?" And they're like the ceremony, then they're, they're going down. And I'm like, and Lisa goes, uh, "This is the minister," and she's like, "Oh, I had to shorten this because it was just so hot. And I was just too." Rough. So so obviously nobody was planning on that. But anyway, they got married. That was the main thing. We got the really good pictures. Uh, you know, lighting was good, so everything was good for this, so that that worked out. It was just, it's just like I told Jay later, I said, it's one of these adventurous things, you just can't make them, make them up on how this weekend went. So, uh, we got all that squared away, finished it up. Jay managed to get some abandoned buildings, and if you haven't I ever heard my podcast episode with Jay Farrell on his abandoned building uh, books, uh, check that out too, because uh, he's got some new ones out. And uh, he will be coming up soon on another... Um, another, um, oh, what do you call it? I, I guess another signing, and I can't remember where he's at right now. I thought I had it right here before me, but apparently I don't have that. But it is in Tennessee, and it will be coming up, and I will try to get that mentioned again on another episode, hopefully before that comes up, or plug that. Um, so that's real good. We got all that going on, and, um, so I just want to tell you that I am back, and, uh, it was, it was an adventure, so as we're, we get all that squared away, uh, we start coming back, you know, and um, turns out the hackers managed to get some money out of his accounts. But anyway, got it all worked out, and it looks like it's all good now here on, uh, you know, Tuesday when I'm uh, doing this podcast. Uh, you know, and boy, you want to talk about three days, uh, about 1,600 miles in three days. You know, for all that traveling I've done, put, pressing that much in three days was rough, including uh, shooting in the heat and all that. But, uh, uh, like I said, congratulations to uh, Jeremy and Bug. They are officially married. Love you guys. Uh, love your kids. Uh, have a great time with you every time I'm down there. We'll return as soon as I can. Got to straighten all this stuff up here in Kentucky. Um, which I won't go into all those details, but wow, talk about the roller coaster I'm on up here too. From one thing to the other, fighting with some people on legal issues and things like that. But I get those things all straightened out eventually. They always do. Um, so we'll just keep moving forward on that. That's not nothing. It's nothing serious. So I mean, it, well, I mean, it's serious to me. It's personal. It's not. 
it's not something you know but it's not serious to like anything bad that's going to happen to me uh, I can live one way or the other it doesn't really matter I'm really good at uh, those things um, so we're moving that forward. So I've got more episodes coming up, and I will be out there trying to get more interviews, uh, although they will probably be a little closer to home, uh, possibly in the backyard, uh, not too far. Don't want to do a lot of traveling. Um, as some of you may know, I did take another security-type job uh, with a corp major uh, company, and uh, I am in leadership now with that company, and uh, I won't name that company uh, because out of respect. Uh, I mean, some people, know, obviously, who are locals know who I'm working for. Um, so I'm doing that. Uh, so it is, you know, I have to work these things around. I've got some other things I've got to work around. But I will eventually get this show going back on the interview process and everything. And I appreciate the support that we've gotten from everybody, including my personal fans and friends and all that. Uh, and also, yeah, certainly from Crazy John, because, you know, Crazy John puts some money behind, you know, uh, more episodes to come up. And we will try to get that done. And uh, But like I said, there's a lot of craziness going on with the economy out there. And so it's going to be a little rough trying to uh, balance all this and budgets and all that and trying to make sure this goes forward. But we will continue to try to move forward. Uh, we don't give up. Uh, that's a personal I don't give up uh, on things. So I am here, and, um, you know, this is this was just to let you know that I'm still here. I'm going to do some more shows, and I will get to more interview shows just as soon as I can. Um, uh, maybe even some more travel shows, especially since this was a really good – this was a really good trip outside of the craziness that was happening on the roller coaster ride with it. But overall, the trip was absolutely wonderful. It was great to see Bug and Jeremy. It was great to see the kids. Uh, and, you know, it was great to see people I hadn't seen in a while, including the minister that was uh, conducting the ceremony and uh, Melissa, my other, the other Melissa out of Oklahoma, uh, Melissa Christina Morris, uh, who, uh, as I said, uh, there's a connection there uh, that's very unique. But um, anyway, so hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, evening, night, whatever it is where you're at, and I uh, just wanted to come in and update everybody. And let me see if I can find out real quick before I get off because I really would like to let you know where this is at uh, coming up. Uh, if you're in the Nashville area, I'm pretty sure it's in the Nashville area. So if I can find out real quick, I will let you know. I think he may already have it up. Uh, for that uh, appearance that he's going to do. This is Jay's appearance coming up, obviously. Uh, let me see if I can find that out for you guys. I know some of you that follow me also follow him. Let's see what I've got going on. Uh, I would love to plug that for him. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, here it is. All right, here we go. So, if you want to meet the wonderful Jay Farrell, who was the on the pilot episode of uh, the 13th Destiny podcast for his abandoned uh, book series uh, that he has written many and uh, photographed for these abandoned places. In fact, he actually took some photographs of a couple of abandoned places on the way to the wedding uh, in Texas uh, Saturday. I uh, had to stop and let him do that. He had to do his thing. You know, he's the master at this. So... Um, Parnassus, Parnassus, I guess I can say how you say it, Parnassus Books, I believe is how you say that. It will be the appearance, and stock is now official. Um, let's see, it will be Tuesday, May 31st at 6.30 p.m. Uh, he, he will have a presentation, audience uh, Q&A, and a signing for the new Tennessee Treasures release. So, yeah, please check that out. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to get you a location of that. I believe that location's in here. This is just a brief announcement on the Jay Farrell author site. Let's see if I can find you an address uh, as well on this. I'm pretty sure the people in the Nashville area know where this is at, but just to be... Okay, here we go. So that event will be at 6.30 p.m. Uh, the event address of Parnassus Books is at 3900 Hillsboro Pike Suite 14, Nashville, Tennessee. Be sure to uh, go and check that out if you're interested in abandoned places uh, and have ever um, seen a Jay's Abandoned Books series. Uh, they are on Amazon. Uh, Parnassus Books, obviously, uh, is going to be doing this event. Uh, they're on, they've been, he's done events at Barnes and Noble, other places. But anyway, this one's going to be done at Parnassus Books. And uh, I, I don't know, I believe that's a little bit smaller bookstore. 
Uh, but obviously, this will be a Q&A. You'll be able to meet Jay in person. So please check that out. That, that event date, again, is Tuesday, May 31st, 2022 at 6.30 p.m. at Parnassus Books at 3900 Hillsboro Bike Suite, 14 Nashville, Tennessee. And go meet Jay Farrell, uh, Jay, who is the author of The Abandoned Books uh, and many of them. And this one will be The Abandoned uh, Tennessee Treasures Collection. So certainly check that out. All right, so uh, we got that out of the way, uh, and it was awesome traveling with Jay this weekend. I did all the driving, and uh, Jay did basically the support, and I helped Jay do the lighting for the wedding for Jeremy and Buck. Great time, great travels, a little rough in three days, but we did it. We got it all done, even against our, our, our crazy things that were going on, but we made it. We made it back, and uh, certainly go check that out. So anyway, so this is the 13th Destiny Podcast with Magnum. Appreciate you guys listening. <coughs> well, well, hello. Uh, well, haven't had that happen in a while. Uh, but anyway, appreciate all that. And uh, like I said, this is the 13th Destiny Podcast with Mac- Jack Magnum. I'm your host, James Magnum Cook, and I appreciate you being here. And please come again and play, uh, keep watching be, and listening because we will be having more episodes coming up soon. And uh, thanks for the support from Crazy John and all his stuff. And uh, we will probably be getting some more supporters soon if, you know, unless this economy keeps going the way it's going and turns upside down even worse, which you know, Lord knows where this ends. But uh, anyway, love all of you. Thank you great. And uh, again, thank you for listening. And uh, may God bless all of us.